Hello everyone. Look what I have got. I am so beside myself with excitement right now. I did not expect to pick this up this year. I thought that I would look at everybody else's videos, decide which inks I wanted, and purchase the bottles or samples of those, but I guess I just had a temporary case of insanity because here we are. <laughs> And this is a spoiler video. I am going to be swatching all of these inks. I absolutely do not want to wait. So if you do want to wait and want to be surprised, please click out of this video right now. <laughs> Come back and watch it at a later time. But yes, I am going to be swatching all 25 of these inks for the Diamine Ink Vent Calendar 2023. I've never gotten one of these before. I didn't even know they existed until this year. And I do still have several that I want to pick up from the previous two years of calendars, but we'll start here. So I have my glass dip pen. I have some Q-tips that I'm going to be swabbing each sample with, and I'm going to be doing it in my Tomoe River notebook, which is the new Sanzen paper, and it's the 52 GSM. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one is called Fortune's Gold and it is a chameleon ink. We can already see a ton of gorgeous gold shimmer in there. So I shook that up. I think it's so awesome that they give 12 milliliter samples. I think that's an ample amount to play around with. So this is day one, Fortune's Gold. Day two is called Cashmere Rose, and this is a standard ink. This looks like a beautiful muted red rose color. Day three is called Early Dusk, and this is a standard formula. Day four is called Masquerade, and it is a shimmer. Honestly, I'm really here for the shimmers. <laughs> I am in love with shimmer inks, and I want them all. This is a pretty, like, light pinky brown shimmer color. It's 
just do that again. Next we have Nightfall, which is a chameleon color. Close ups at the end of all of these so you can see their properties and see how they look dry. This is a gorgeous navy blue with shimmer. I'm interested to see what the other chameleon property is in it. Day six is a chameleon ink called Buck's Fizz. You can see all the gorgeous gold shimmer in there. Oops, that one got contaminated by my finger. Let's try that again. Day seven is a scented ink called Sweet Dreams. It smells like strawberry, I think. Maybe cherry, I'm not sure. <laughs> Really pretty pink. I've seen in other people's videos how the scented inks always come off really uh, wet on the nib. And I believe that is because scented inks, because they have that property that makes them scented, the fragrance, I'm assuming. Uh, they flow a lot wetter than other inks, which is why like KWZ, all their inks are scented with uh, vanilla scent and they are very lubricated. So I think that's the case with this as well. You can see how much of that just came off the nib. Day eight is Jacaranda or Jacaranda. I don't know how to pronounce that. Day nine is Moonbeam, and it is a chameleon ink. Day 10 is called Velvet Emerald and it is a standard ink. That looks really pretty there in the bottle. I 
This is a really beautiful teal color. Day 11 is called Glacier and it says it's a star bright. So I don't know if that means it's like a super shimmer or what, but it does look very promising in the jar there. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's a super shimmer. Wow. Definitely will be using this to mix with other inks to create new colors. This is really insanely shimmery. I just realized I should probably be writing their properties down, but we're in too deep now. Day 12 is called Bah Humbug and it is a chameleon ink. It's a cute name. Oh, there's something on the page there. Oh, it must have been from another one. Ooh, I'm already loving this color. Oh, yes. All right, favorite color so far, officially. That is stunning. Okay, on the camera, it looks really brown in person. It is actually like very uh, deep burgundy slash maroon. I will hold it up in a moment. Hopefully we'll be able to see. It's like giving writer's blood vibes, but with shimmer. Is that one? And it looks like the shimmer in it is red. So that's Gorgeous, definitely my favorite so far. Day 13 is a standard ink and it is called Weeping Willow. And I had a little accident with Sweet Dreams over here. So, I'll probably just do this one and then turn the page, but okay, this is again called Weeping Willow. a very light brown brown gray almost am I missing the significance of weeping willow when it comes to The holiday season. <laughs> I'm not sure what how this relates to the holidays, but it's probably something I just don't know about. This one is very, very light. I feel like in a pen you're gonna be uh, hard pressed to see this. Day 14 is called Rainbow's End, and it is a chameleon ink, and it has some beautiful purple shimmer, it looks like. Day 15 is called Walnut, and it is a standard ink. That 
That's a lovely brown. It does come across very dark with a very wet nib, but I think in a regular nib, you'll be able to see the beautiful brown coloring of it. I want to take a second to look at that gorgeous purple. So it looks like the shimmer is either a lighter purple or a pink, and that is just so beautiful. Day 16 is called Merry and Bright, and it is a shimmer ink. Christmas looking ink. Day 17 is called Lavender Frost and it is a shimmer ink. I was wondering where all the purples were because this is the purple ink vent, so I figured there would be lots of purples in it. But this is actually more of a gray purple. Day 18 is called Blizzard and it is a shimmer. Another light blue shimmer. It's reminding me of the um, super shimmer we had, but maybe it's like a little bit more of a deeper toned blue. It actually kind of reminds me of um, Story Blue from Paris Will Press. Day 19 is Cinnabon, and it is a scented ink. And it does smell like cinnamon. It actually smells like cinnamon. That smells really good. I'm expecting this one to also be very wet like the other scented one, scented one was. And this is a much lighter brown, more of a caramel brown. Yeah, that looks, see how wet that is coming off. It smells really good. Day 20 is called Astral and it is a chameleon ink. looking like a shimmery black. Yeah, that looks nice. This might just convince me to use a black ink again. <laughs> Day 21 is called Tranquility, and it is a chameleon ink.
day 22 is called tinsel and it is a shimmer ink it looks like red or pink shimmer excited about this one Day 23 is called Fireside Snug, and it is a standard ink. This is a really nice deep orange looking color, perfect for fall right now. One of the things I love about inks lately is being able to combine them so I'm looking forward to experimenting with a lot of these and combining them especially the standard inks with the shimmer inks to make new shimmer inks day 24 we have sugar snap this is a shimmer Ooh, look at that love this green this is a nice muted, almost olive green. All right, and day 25, dun, 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 we have Raise a Glass, which is purple, which tracks because every year the biggest bottle is the same color as the box or the color of the year, so this year is purple. So we have a purple here. It does look like it has some shimmer. I just um, agitated it, so it's mixed up, but let's see. Very excited. Oh yes, this is a beautiful purple. So I'm going to wait for all of these to dry and then we will come back and look at all of them in the natural light.